Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today you join me at um, Ford, Ford headquarters in Dunton, in um, Essex, five minutes around the corner from Rouse, and today they've got a charity car show on. And this is their test circuit, and along here, and I've counted this, I've walked up and down and counted, 220 Ford Caprice, as it is their 50th anniversary. So let's go take a look around. There's a few other Capris and all sorts of super old classic cars up in the car park, but today I want to focus on these. Since it is their celebration, a couple of old like, little cars worse and a racing Puma sort of mixed in with them, but uh, yeah, straight away we've got a Tickford Capri with a V6 Cosworth engine swap. So yeah, let's go take a look around. So this, all these Capris, this was um, Ford's attempt at a Mustang for Europe, basically. That's why they made the Capri. Obviously the Mustang was too big and powerful for the European market, so they, they come up with a Capri idea. And um, yeah, started in 88, uh, 68, and then eventually was killed off by poor sales because of these today's pot hatches and that's why capri sales fell pot hatches rose and um yeah that's where we are today no more capris and big engines now we've got small, small hot hatches there you got your xr3 eyes and your cosworth sierras and sapphires and yeah that's just what people went to all right so this little car might be recognizable from uh, i didn't actually notice until i got spot out but this was the one that was parked next to me at the hotel for Ford Fair up in uh on Phantom. so shows that they do get around uh, we've got a racing Puma parked up next to it uh, go across to here yeah there we go there's the uh, first Tickford Mark III Capri with a Cosworth engine in it V6 um, we've got a laser here, I think it's going to be like a 1.6. There we are, one of the Capri 280s, one of the last production Capris off the line. Capri 280 was, um, like I said, uh, last one off the line, it was a limited run. Um, you'd think it would be 280, two of the last 280 models off the line. No, it was the last 1,038, 1,026, something like that. Was the was the final amount of, of Capri 280s that are off the lines? So you've got a Tickford Capri. Um, again, this was a limited run, uh, joint effort between Ford's uh, Capri design team and Aston Martin. So every Tickford Capri that was ordered, um, it was completely gutted and refurbed. So uh, yeah, it's like uh, your modern day supercar. Everything was well, redesigned to the customer's taste. So not one Tickford is the same essentially. We've got another Mark II rolling out. Nice tinny tick over. Yeah, Very nice. So obviously not every Capri is in perfect condition. We've got a really, couple of really nice examples. Um, a Mark II and a Mark I next to each other. Here we go, we've got the old V6, the 3 litre V6. I uh, believe this is the later generation of V6, uh, nicknamed the Essex engine, because it's made in Dagenham. So I think this particular one be our post 1971-1972. So you got your Mark III Capri lasers, which would probably be the equivalent of like your z -techs back in the day. And then you've got your later injection models, which would be well, your STs, theoretically, uh, 2.8 litre V6s, um, most, one of the most powerful models, I believe. Uh, that's got an engine swap, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, more injections, you've got another Capri 280, but this is in black, so I'm not sure whether he's put the stickers on to or whether he's at the original 280 resprayed. So, different it's got the same the right wheels enough for it but you don't know mark freeze you got a turbo very nice nice and clean up there 
Uh, more injections, again this is, a, this is a later model. Um, yeah, you can definitely see the style and change over the years. Obviously this production run from uh, 1968 up to 1986. Uh, I think the last one was registered in 89, mid 89 I believe. Uh, but I think some of them have gone missing over the years as well. There you go, you've got another original pre-280. Jan speed bump. So it's got mm, very clean. A lot of injection models, obviously them being the later models of the year, you expect to see a few more of them. Um, and there we go, we got onto a variety of Ticknell Capris now, or Tickford, sorry, should I say. So you've got like a British racing green, that's the Martin Emblem on the front with a T for tick, Tickford, black, white. So these red one, hmm. nice turbo on the front there. Turbo with the injection engine. Uh, top speed of about 137. Uh, 0 to 60 times was about 6.8 seconds, I think. Yeah, red one's red. Who touched it? And then we're up to the, uh, the Capri 280 owners club. So yeah, all the same, all in Brooklyn's green. Oh, there you go. There's the original build number of how many 280s there were off the production run. 1,038. Yeah, all Brooklyn's green, all the same alloys. So yeah, like I said, I'm not sure about that gloss black one back there, um, as it's black with a 3280. So yeah, um, and then we got a completely rusty rat rod up here. The only the only rat rod Capri, Mark One Capri. Um, so that's pretty cool. Looks good the way they kept it like it. Can imagine a lot of people being annoyed here. It's, um, all the purists. <laughs> oh, it's got a 280. Boot, <laughs> 280 boot, Lizzie. <laughs> By Devil Developments. <laughs> oh, God. So it's got a powered by EcoBoost sticker on the back, and it's also got an SXI sticker on the side, so don't know what's going on with it. But it looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh, it's got a 1600 badge on this side, so it could be anything under there. So there we go, we've got another injection model, we've got the V6, and then we got this, whatever this is. But obviously it's going to be running mega power, twin supercharged, bloody hell. Um, okay, so it looks like some sort of drag. All these gauges in there, boost gauges, and oh god, stripped out, caged, full, seat, full harness seats. Oh, the exhaust on there, too. Oh, I don't know. Let's see if we can get a grip for these wheels in there. No, can't quite see it, but yeah, bloody hell. Mad. So there we go, just a quick little video today at Dunn. London Ford headquarters in Essex um, just celebrate oh, it's like a charity car meet uh, turn around quickly that's just what's going on you got your burger vans you got a bit of everything you got a lot of folds but you got like a bit of concourse for BMWs and all sorts of makes really but uh, yeah that's it it was mainly just for the Capri since it's their 50th anniversary but a uh, bit of history and yeah, hopefully I've got it all right. I think I've got most of it right. But um, yeah, that's the end of that one. Nice, nice short and simple. So uh, yeah, like and subscribe. There'll be plenty more coming soon. I'll see you on the next one.